Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Mega Man X3. Uh, as always, I am Ethan, aka the Mighty Zero. And last time we took down we took down Tunnel Rhino, and also went back to a couple of the levels we completed before and picked up the missing power ups. Uh, today we're gonna go ahead and tackle Toxic Seahorse, and let's jump into the level. We have his weakness, so it should be terribly difficult. I don't know if I've mentioned it already, but I love the music in this game. It's just kind of nice rock beat. Uh, and that's an enemy we haven't seen before, I think, where his main thing is that he'll, yeah, he'll try to shoot you with the arm there, shoot high and low, and also he'll try to jump up in your face. So, not terribly difficult. Ooh. And, uh, fun fact. I mentioned earlier that you can run between uh, these guys, and, or you can run between, if it, as long as these guys are off screen, they'll respawn, and they seem to be a decent source of HP. This can be a spot you can just go back and forth on, and uh, actually just try to get some life. This is, man, this is not going well for me. Uh, Alright, we'll just continue on, see what happens. And then we gotta climb the wall. Having that uh, upgrade charge shot now gives you kind of a nice range that you can use to give yourself some cover on that. Over and grab the health. Gotta gotta start building up that reserve. It's gonna help us a lot in the upcoming fights. All the lovely sewage. Climbing. Out so I can here and pick up that bit of life. That always drops one there, so it's kind of nice to. Pick up. Anyway, we keep climbing here. Ugh. Man. Yeah, try to shoot up. Shoot the docket check. Anyway, got another life extender. Fairly easy one to get. Kind of a little bit difficult to miss. And again, we come to one of these sub boss rooms. Let's see if uh, Bit or Bite wants to show up today. Nope, not today. So we'll just keep continuing on. I usually see one at least one of them by now, so that's a little bit weird. Um, again, none of the ride pad. I uh, don't have anything to use it with um, yet. But uh, yeah, no, first we get our first big water segment of the game. So little turtles, you can't shoot them in the top end, you gotta hit them from beneath. And when they die, they uh, they actually their shells actually float to the top. Now I'm actually going to show you something here, kind of interesting. Um, with uh, with frost shield, if you use it underwater, it actually becomes larger and gives you a much larger range and a much bigger target on it. Kind of neat. Um, but there's also another function of it. Normally, when you charge it up, it gives you a little uh, spike shield you can use in in front of you uh, for a few hits. But if you charge and use it underneath the water, uh, I'm going to try it right here because there's a secret right above us. It gives you an ice cube that floats to the top. Yeah. All right. So that what we got there is one of the mods for the Chimera ride armor. Uh, currently, this one is uh, the Kangaroo. So it gives you some spike hands. Um, so anyway, that's upgrade number two. Normally we would need the frog right armor to get to the third one, but uh, let's see if I can pull off this trick. Um, 
I don't know if they call this a bug or an exploit, but uh, all I know is that I am going to be walking on water here in a second. Crap, no, didn't work. You can actually jump on water, uh, and that is really helpful because... If we try to keep coming over this way, we, we're, we're getting pushed back a little bit. And we can't get farther because there's two giant fans blocking us. However, if I do this, I may... Ah, dang it. Come back, come back. Alright, let's try this one more time. I just need to stop moving. Alright. So you can jump off water, actually. I've, some, I've actually made it across the entire stretch of lane. Uh, no, so normally, like I said, you need the right armor, to act, the frog right armor, to actually get back here. But uh, coming up this way actually leads you to a pink capsule. Enter this capsule, X. Install this leg chip. This chip will enable you to dash in the air twice in a row. With the chip, your mobility in the air will be greatly enhanced. Remember, X, your system can only handle one of the four enhancement chips. Enter this capsule only if you are sure you want to use this chip. Alright, so these are the collectibles I made mention of earlier that we will be able to get all four, but we it's kind of tricky. Because like he said, each of these enhancement chips, you can only pick up one. Uh, in other versions of the game, uh, I think you can actually pick up one and actually switch them as you wanted. Uh, but in this version, if you pick up one, you're stuck with it. So this is the lake enhancement. It would allow us to air dash twice. Um, however, like I said, we will get all four, but it's not going to be through this way. However, I do want to show these off and where they are located. So that is our first one. So for now, we'll just ignore it, and we'll just head back down. And then there's the giant fans. Ah! All right, so can't go around that way. We gotta go underneath. Again, if you don't know exactly what's coming up, the uh, that spread shot's a nice way to kind of help clear the way. helps clear the way so that you don't need to worry about damage. Um, let's see, for this sub-boss, I'm going to switch to the Ray Splasher. Is it what we need to do? I'm not sure, but we got this lovely gentleman who tries to shoot missiles at you and drops a little mines. Kind of just keep the pressure on him, and he'll uh, he'll die soon enough. Not terribly difficult. Like kind of like like how he puts up his arms. He's like, "Oh no, don't shoot me!" And I'm like, "Dad, too bad. I'm gonna shoot you." And a little bit of weapon energy. Yeah, thanks. Um, oh, dang it, I'm halfway down on my lizard buffalo energy. That's not good if since that's the weakness of the boss. So let's continue on and hope that everything will be okay. And like I said in the opening stage, that guy can only be shot in, be in between his blasts. His energy blasts deflect yours. So, keep going. Nice little waterfall. Oh, hello. Se haven't seen you since the opening stage. Yeah, so, I don't know if I also showed this as well. There's an in-between charge, a purple one, that gives you the sp spinny attack and the light charge so uh, it actually doesn't mix into the big one but it does give you two shots so it can be handy but I prefer the big one it's just nice to have that giant wall of death that goes towards them 
Um, alright, didn't pick up any more weapon energy, so let's see if this will be enough to take down Toxic Seahorse. Uh, not terribly difficult, and I have almost a full sub tank, so I think we should be fine. So what he does a lot is that he tries to jump at ya. You can actually kind of keep him in the spark mandrel state, as it's kind of called, where he, he just gets stuck in one pattern over again. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's one of the downfalls of this game. I love it. I love this game. Don't get me wrong. But a lot of the bosses, if you have their weakness, they do suffer a little bit from Spark Mandrel Syndrome. Not so much of that he literally can't move, but they just, it kind of resets their pattern and they just go back and forth. Like with him, he will just always jump over and you, he will always just jump back and forth over you. Uh, so we actually didn't get to see a whole lot of his moves even. Um, well, hopefully I'll get a chance to show that off a little bit later. But uh, anyway, Tux the Seahorse is down. We have his weapon, the Acid Burst ability. So, easy peasy lemon squeezy, that is another boss down. Uh, An Acid Burst doesn't really give us anywhere else to, uh, anywhere else that we can open stuff in the previous stages. So I think what we will do is that next time we'll go ahead and we'll focus on Gravity Beetle. Uh, he's weak to Neon Tiger, so now we get a kind of the fun of, alright, we'll now start using the boss's powers against them. Uh, but anyway, this is Ethan, aka The Mighty Zero. Thank you for watching. And uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like our videos. We've got lots of good quality content. And have yourselves a great day.